I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? <gasps> this world... This Jabberwock Island we're on. It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. Hey! So, this isn't the real world, but if you want, you can call it the game world. You get it? Are you friggin' serious? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? That's stupid. I know, I know. The all-in-your-mind trope makes you feel such cruel despair. But who cares? I revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. Cause it's a game! Then we were forced to kill each other. Cause it's a game! A lot of crazy shit happened. Cause it's a game! We're the only people here. Cause it's a game! Monokuma's nonsensical ability- Cause it's a- Don't fuck with me! I know you guys are pissed, but you were having fun too, right? So just force yourself to accept it. This closed space, this game world- Just- just stop. Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, Stop feeling strict. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. I mean, if this really is a virtual world, you better not say we're fictional characters. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. Which means your body still exists in the real world. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world. Simply put, you're, um, you know, not aviators, but... You mean Avatar, right? But we're not just regular avatars, right? You're Avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing. I see! What was removed from us was our school memories, right? We're avatars. So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? D don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. How we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it! How many times do I have to tell you? Is there any evidence that this... The evidence. What does that mean? You're avatars, but your actual bodies in the real world, though you have no memories of your real bodies actually live. What game world? What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body! Crap! Is there any 
evidence that this is really a- You are the e What does that mean? Your avatars may- But your actual bodies in the- Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually live that life. What game world? What avatar? I'm a human being with a real body! Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the- What does that mean? Your avatar is made of memory, but your actual bodies in the real- Though you have no memories of your time living, your real bodies actually live that life! That must be it! Earlier, in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. There was a picture of Hyoko, but she looked more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. Look like an adult? Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. And you are saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears Hyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated for you, Hiko. But I can't believe that. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time. So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. The only one! Hey, Fuyuhiko, you knew Peko for a long time, right? Yeah, now that you mention it, seems weird. No, now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Strange? Our school memories. About how many days worth were taken away. As the creators of the Neo World program, only the future foundation would know the details, but around two or three years worth. Peko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is... You've lost your memories. End of story. This is a virtual world. Are you saying we just have to accept that? I can feel my heartbeat. And so what do you call these things I'm feeling? Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? So if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than if it actually happened? Now that you mention it, I did. In a distant country, there was a certain prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. That prisoner was left alone in the experiment room, as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. If a lie, is a believable lie. You're saying it might become the truth? We're really just connected to machines and stuff. So we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Then, the Jabberwock Island we've been living on... Of course, that's also a virtual world. That sea, that beach, the buildings, everything. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual inv- It, 
if everything's a lie... Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world. Everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Uh, then that must mean... That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. Oh yeah. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. So... so... Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> What's so funny? If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. Don't tell me. The Neo World program isn't just any game. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death, their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too! What? Then... everyone who died... It's not like their bodies are completely dead. That's why it's actually crueler instead. Are you saying they will never awaken again? What the fuck? What the fuck?! Well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? What game? Ah, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Then... Monomi and Shiaki were... They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us. I see. Wreck. The ones who track it's all the future. And the enemy is the th I mean, a group that would make a killing. No, that's wrong. Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program, a concept like violence never existed. Th then, why is there killing going on? The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C could it be? You're right. Until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Yeah, it didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. Monami, what sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? Hey, don't change the subject! I see! She was the observer of the Neo World program, isn't that right? That's right! She was an NPC that was assigned the role of observer. NPC? Non-player character. Character. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program. <gasps> Please wait! You've forgotten how to count. He was probably excluding the other observer. Huh? I see! Aside from the 15 participants, there were two observers and one of them was Monami. And the other one was... Could it have been Chiaki? Yeah, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? So you're saying she was just a program? Th then she wasn't human? No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game character! Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable World Ender. Now that you mention it, you referred to the Future Foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? Do not joke about the World Ending! No! There's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also World Ender. At least, for those of us here! Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Yeah. Monokuma, hey, don't you just show us your true self already! What, you can't talk? 
It is cowardly of you to just ignore us. Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, it appears the main cast has finally arrived. Many cats. Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender. What? World Ender? It's not the Future Foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies with you guys. All right, I was waiting for you, Makoto. You finally arrived. My name is Makoto Naegi. Like you, I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. And right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. You are from the Future Foundation? Why did someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Hey, what happened? Of course, I don't mind rescuing you guys. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Who cares? Hurry up and get us out of here! The Neo World program has another name. The Hope Restoration Program. By now, you should understand your true identity. Hmm? Our true identities? Aren't we the 15 survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Who were rescued by the Future Foundation? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them all together and try thinking about it. Coming together! Could it be? The survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? And the remnants of Ultimate Despair are... Yes! Both of those phrases refer to you guys! That's right! Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy... You're also survivors of Ultimate Despair! We're all... Ultimate Despair? 
Don't be stupid! In the beginning, we took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope Street Academy. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. That was us? What is this ultimate despair? I remember hearing that the dangerous guys who were responsible for terrorism, coup d'etats, and wars. Yes, they're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. Despair in human form, but utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. The ultimate despairs don't care about principles or morals. They just spread despair everywhere they go. They live solely to torment everything. You're part of a dangerous group like that? Th that's gotta be a lie! Try it. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Nagito probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. Nagito? Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? He's the only one who knew this truth before you guys! It was a special prize for clearing the final dead room! Was it that file that contained all our student profiles? But inside... No, it used to have profiles from after you entered the school, but Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Why? Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? everyone except for the traitor. That's right. After seeing the file, he learned that everyone, including him, was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us because we were ultimate despair? Yes, because of his love for hope and his hatred toward despair. Don't mess with us. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that! It might seem unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, you were in contact with her. Her? The true ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. She strongly influenced you all during your time at the school. In order to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. Is that... Why you took away our school memories? The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World program. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Family, friends, and our own bodies? He's right! There's no way we do something like that! Don't turn away from the truth! It appears you've remembered a link. Now, face what you've done. And from there, you will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. 
There's obviously some kind of mistake. There's no way we're all because you're all you killed your friends and fake and you even destroyed your own bodies. That must be it. That memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Nagito did was he cut off his own arm and transplanted a woman's arm? Not just any woman's arm. It was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. What? What if he probably thought that by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it? I, I don't get this at all. The ultimate despairs defy understanding. I... I am terribly sorry. I do not feel so well. It's just a game anyway. So why don't you just let it out? It's too soon to feel sick. It's not even the worst thing the ultimate despairs have done. Some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting. Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. And not just that, some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Just stop! That's just a bullshit story, that's a- So you feel despair toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling, but there's no need to worry. If you just advance toward the hope I provide, you'll definitely be saved. Save? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. You put us inside this program so that you could save us? Essentially, your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. If we remove the memories of your time at Hope's Peak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? So you're saying this was like a test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the hope fragments, nevertheless, you guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. That's why all you need to do is choose graduate. If we do that, we can get out of here? However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. If you choose to graduate, and the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete the Hope Restoration Program, and your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. Uh, uploaded? Hey, what happens to the people whose avatars died? If an avatar that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. So you're saying they'll never wake up? God damn it! Damn fucking shit! Ahem, please take a look at this flipbook for a quick rundown of your options. If you choose Graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll just have to continue living your tropical life. Hey, why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, we are all rather messed up, right? If that is the case, then maybe staying on this island is... What, what are you saying? Haven't we been working this hard just to escape from here? You don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and ever! Don't be ridiculous. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But still, is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? You're asking that now? If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? <laughs> I see. 
right. Can we have some time to decide? Did you get scared like Sonia? No, it's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? Strange? You still don't understand? Normally, ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. M Makoto, what has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? I knew it. So I thought, there's something wrong with you. says and get out of here. I mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? And apparently, we are actually the bad guys. It's fine to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. No one can defy the Future Foundation. No, that's wrong. Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the Future Foundation? Then how do you explain your actions? My actions? I saw it. The email that the Future Foundation sent to you. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair. This clearly contradicts what this person is saying! Huh? Is that email for real? The Future Foundation tried to kill us? Hold on! We'll deal with that later! Hey, Monokuma! Those clues we found were all real, right? G yes! Tell me, Mikoto Naegi, who are you? Who is he? S I'm not asking you! You insolent fool! If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! I can't hear you! Better luck next! Makoto Naegi, 
that's who you really are. Then tell me this. Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? 11037. Um, what was that again? You can't answer? That's weird. Wait, you... Where'd you find that out? Who cares? So how about it? Oh, man. I've been found out. Found out? Then you're... <laughs> How disappointing! And I thought I was on the right track! He... disappeared? Hey! That guy disappeared! Why are you surprised? It's a computer program. Then... that was just the work of Monokuma? Aww, you found out I was faking! What are you doing? Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Is that where your trap is? Man, they saw right through me! A trap? What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you better hurry the hell up and confess! I'll beat you half to death if you tell us now! But if you don't spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! Just kill him right now! Violence is not allowed! What game? This game is already over! This game... is over? No, no, no! I'm not gonna let you finish yet! There's no way this can end before I've even transformed! Tra transform A transformation is customary in a final boss battle, right? You know what game I'm talking about. Final... Don't say it! Now then, allow me to show you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to my final form! You better not be bluffing! I'm Anything goes here. But this? I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She's huge! Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game, Nyperella. Said it anyway. I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? Hey, hey! Want me to squish you in between them? I'd get fucking crushed! If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But, too bad, this isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> this is... Monokuma's true identity? We, we have to deal with this thing? I'm shocked you'd call me this thing! Um, is it just me, or did her personality change? I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I 
already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys. You, you are not bored at all. I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. I see! Are you... Junko Enoshima? Did you say Junko Enoshima? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I... Jeez, stupid. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Exuberance! We are now an AI! We have transcended humanity! What AI? You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So, let's all be friends! Oh no! Man, they hate me. And I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Tampered? With the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happened so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? It was like real hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in a microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. By the way, I'll give you a clue. So you're not gonna tell... See. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliantly wrong! <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. You're wrong? How should I put this? I was just... goofing around? I mean, is this stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers, or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so overpredictable crap like that. She's... she's seriously messed up. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough! Please stop! Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough with this pointless crap! 
Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's easy. It's just a game after all. Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. Fine. I won't worry about it. Hey, who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But... If we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it is really possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying that's how she tampered with a computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm. What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is... Man, so annoying. You're so petty. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Well, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course! We've been working toward that goal for, like, forever! Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Plus, everyone can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. Yeah, you are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip, your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Ch chump Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to- If we do that, Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chunks are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> so cool! Did you also my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone, and then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. <laughs> How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. You always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? 
She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Hey, little old me. Who do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Then, everyone who died isn't gonna come back to life. They're gonna be taken over by Junko? What the fuck? Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Dude, don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data on Kuyuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Heiko that's more to your liking than she ever was. I said, don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, eventually, there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world! With this, my despair utopia, that's Operation Jumbo by All Mankind, and a... That messed up plan? Then why did you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. I see! God, it's because of the school trip's rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. So, the rules were protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your body plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Then, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? Chump change. I... I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you! So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. How? How can you be so cruel? Because Junko Enoshima is the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me. Dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? That was 
thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! Yeah, about that. I see! Are you talking about the Reserve Course's mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the Reserve Course. <laughs> mass suicide? An incident. 2,300 to 2,300... You don't have to be that surprised. <laughs> that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. If someone like me is born... That means the world is yearning for despair! That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will act, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? What, what the heck? Why? Does it have to be like that? It's such a cool fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong! That's not it! But ultimate despair is hated worldwide. And their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL! This is nothing to LOL about! But it's so ironic! You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice! Even though you came all this way to win the game! Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win! <sighs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along! STOP IT! Give up yet! There is a way you guys can get out of here without letting Juko out. No, no, there's no way such a convenient. There is. Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can't stop it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. You... you know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? I see! Because... there's not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. Out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let you. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try explaining it to us. I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. That's not something you need to take your time saying. Believe. 
Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Chiyoko! Byakuya! I knew you guys would come! We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. I I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey! What's going on? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Shut up. Miyakuya! You're alive! You shut up too. Um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? No. It's probably not just that. You guys are the survivors of the killing school life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. There's three of them here now? The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jeez, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despair. <laughs> Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. Hey, can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program... I see! Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right! Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. <gasps> no! Are, are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat Despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last Ultimate Despair. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why... I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Will you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? But, but still... Even if our brainwashing is undone... The memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did on this island? It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, It'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition... That's like a bad joke. We're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. 
We don't know anything about that past! Hey, why... why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. People who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> the point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. <laughs> when you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived, and the embodiment of Despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the Future Foundation win, or will my despair win? Alright! This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You, you called us chumps again! Only because it's true! Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? C question As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily. Okie dokie, let's...
coming together! Got it! You used the surveillance cameras! You were trying to lure the Future Foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? In the previous Killing School Life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding! I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras. What shall I do? I did a... You sure did. I will never be queen now! So you guys were watching us? We tried to hack in many times. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again, until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey, don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Ah, uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this! Thank you! It's all thanks to you guys! We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. You're pretty fucking desperate! If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever! Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. I see! As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade! Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that. I mean, she's been bad-mouthing us this whole time. Oh. It looks like we shouldn't have talked so much. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. Why not? Look up upon their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. 
There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... Well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. Yay! I was totally waiting for a protagonist to fly like that, but no matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair. Oh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's going to make you fall into despair. That's the Mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. Mastermind? Mastermind! That can't be. It you should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the Mastermind. But I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy! It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Izuru... Kamakura? I see! Izuru Kamakura? Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Pope, right? Hmm? Does the founder have the same name as that Ultimate Hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The future Foundation might know something, right? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that, the matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be- Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Shunko and Ashima killed them? Who say such cool things? Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? What? Like I said. Your Izuru Kamakura. Huh? Already? If you don't understand, I'll explain it to you till you do understand. Your Izuru Kamakura, your Izuru Kamakura, your Izuru Kamakura, your Izuru Kamakura, your. No, hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura! Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But. Hajime is... That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve force dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. Good news, Hajime! Even though you were monkey had a talent all along! How can someone from the reserve have such an amazing talent like In order to hide Izuru's identity, was he hidden in the reserve? Then Hajime's... Th There's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata! I've always had that name ever since I was born! Then Izuru is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute... Could it be created hope? That might be Izuru.
Good news? Even though your monkey had a talent off. How can someone put such an amazing thing in order to hide? Was he hidden in, in Hajime's? There's no doubt I've always had that name. Then Izuru is your fairy. You weren't what I didn't know about any more luck. Can't be created a hope? That must be it! Created hope? Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder and called it... The Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See? Didn't I tell you? Lies. That's definitely a lie. Ah, after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! Did you say transform? What did they do to him? Unless you're willing to go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously, it's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Did they really do something like that? But if you think about it, Hachime gets out of here. He's gonna be a super genius, right? Like I said, he's not Hachime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. D different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions? Thoughts? Hobbies? It sounds like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hakime even exists here at all. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hajime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. Here? All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata.
Safely reborn. Hold on, you can't do that. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Juko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the Future Foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the Future Foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is. We have to protect the world from despair, you say? Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the ultimate despairs, right? Once you go back to being ultimate despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? And can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love. There won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. Will you be able to endure such despair for people you've never met before? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her! That's how she works! That's what she does, so she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Oh, hold on! What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now, it's finally started to calm down. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent them? You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories. And everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? You guys, you can't buy into this. And which is true despair? Um, what shall we do? You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? If everyone can overcome despair, you guys should be able to grasp true hope. If 
our memories up until now disappear. I will not even remember. The reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? You might think I'm a fool, but... I want to see Pekko one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair, the Future Foundation might kill us, right? We won't let them do that. This is all the Future Foundation's fault. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! For your protection. If Junko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. Uh, I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! Can't do it. Huh? C can't do it? I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And that? I can't decide. I can't choose either one. Hajime! Shut up! Leave me alone! This. This is just too much! Why do I. Why do I have to be a part of this? I mean, I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. But even so, I got dragged into this, and now, my existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? This burden, don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that, but the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine, I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And with this, the world will continue to loop. An eternal game, Utopia, sounds like fun. All right. And with this, the world. An eternal game. I guess it's fine to stay. Your master, that is a wise call. Yay! You didn't have to forget us. Yes, there's no way I would forget. And with this, Junko's gone. All right. Let's. I'm gonna showcase my full cooking ability. Just leave the BGM to Ibuki. Hey, can I take a picture?
treat you to commemorate what to be awed by the sight of a- I've prepared you a training regimen! Oh, if you get- Should I begin with a brief introduction of myself? <laughs> After all this time? Game reset! And with this, the world will continue to- An eternal game utopia sounds like fun! Alright! And with this, the world- An eternal game utopia sounds like fun! I guess it's fine to stay like this. Your master. Yay! Yes, there's a- And with this, you- Alright! I'm gonna showcase my- Just leave the beach- Hey, can I take- What to be odd by the- I prepared you a- Ooh, Should I begin with a- <laughs> That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? Alright! And with this, the world- An eternal game- I guess it's fine to stay- Young master. Yay! Yes, there's- And with this, Juka- Alright! I'm gonna showcase my- Just leave the BG- Hey, can I take- What to be odd by the- I've prepared you a- Ooh, Should I begin with- <laughs> That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? And with this, the world- An eternal game- I guess it's fine to stay- Young master. Yay! Yes, there's- And with this, Juka- Alright! I'm gonna showcase my- Just leave the BG- Hey, can I take- What to be odd by the- I've prepared you a- Ooh, should I begin with a- <laughs> That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? And with this, the world- An eternal game you This world. Who are you? I'm just a part of the game. But you guys aren't, right? Chiaki? Is that you? Hmm. I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up? Telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no way I can choose. For someone like me, I'm just not able to choose. Seriously, I've had enough. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. Hey, you don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear. No, I won't. Huh? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified. longer are you going to be this indecisive? Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? But... even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime... you've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. If you can't do that... No matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just like... how you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be alright. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Chiaki, can you tell me something? Which... Which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? 
You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future and the responsibility too. So you're saying I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <clears throat> if I... Of course, games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. But this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime, this isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Come on, I'll help out too. Help? I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. I was even betrayed by- I don't want to dis- I'm not easy or who cares well- I don't want to sacrifice myself. I have no talent. I was even betrayed by- I don't want to dis- I'm not easy or who cares well- I don't want to sacrifice- It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. There's no way we can be Junko. It's the future foundation's fault. I have no talent. I was even betrayed by- I don't want to dis- I'm not easy or who cares well- I don't want to sacrifice- it's not like I'll be appreciated. There's no way we can be Junka. It's the future foundations, not mine. I can't choose the future. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. I have no talent. I was even betrayed by- I don't want to dis- I'm not easy work. Who cares? Well, I don't want to sacrifice. It's not like I'll be- There's no way we can- It's the future found- Not mine. I can't choose the future. See? If you just do it, you should even be able to create the future. I have no talent. I was even betrayed by- I don't want to dis- I'm not easy work. Who cares? Well, I don't want to sacrifice. It's not like I'll be appreciated. There's no way we can be- It's the future foundation. Not mine. I can't choose the future. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. I have no talent. I was even betrayed. But I don't want to dis- I'm not easy or who cares what will happen. I don't want to sacrifice. It's not like I'll be- There's no way we can be- It's the future found. Not mine. See? If you just do it, you should even be able to create the future. I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. There's no way we can beat Junko. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Even so, not mine. Even so. See, if you just do it, things will turn. You should even be able to create the future. I was even betrayed by the account. Even so, I. No matter what kind of future it is. As long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. Everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future. Even if it's a convenient miracle. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't hesitate now. I'll be cheering for you too. That reminds me. 
forgot to say it again. If the memories we made here disappear, I will not even remember. Why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of despair, the tragedy will start once again. I want to see Becca one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair, we might be killed by the Future Foundation. This is your responsibility. It's not my responsibility. It's the Future Foundation. They're both hope and they're both despair. A conclusion will never be fucking reached. You can't lose hope. If the memories we made here disappear, I will not even remember why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of despair, the tragedy will start once again. I want to see Becca one more time. You can't lose hope! If the memories you made here just we will not even remember why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of the tragedy will start once again. We turn back into we might be killed by the This is your responsibility. It's not my responsibility. It's the future foundation. They're both hope and they're both a conclusion will never be. No, that's wrong! It won't just be hope. It will probably be a lot of despair, too. I don't know what kind of future awaits us. But our futures are ours. I won't let anyone take them. Huh? Who the hell are you? I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake but my own. Don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata! You despair because you yearn for hope! You yearn for hope because you despair! Let's finish this already! There's no need for you to choose! Close your eyes and cover your ears! Just shut the hell up! If you do that, this game is gonna continue! If you don't want that, just turn off the game! Even so, I... You don't have to look at the hopeless future. I'll never let anyone choose again! I don't want anything! The future is full of lies. You have no argument. There's no hope! The future will make you suffer! Just give up already! A miracle won't happen! You're not hope! What is this crappy feeling? I don't want anything! The future is full of lies! Mizuru! You have no argument! Any choice is despair! The future will make you suffer! Just give up already! I don't want anything! You're not hope! I don't want to lose anything! There's no hope! Just give up already! You have no argument! I don't want anything! You won't be able to do it! You won't be able to do anything! No, that's, that's wrong! wrong. What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this? All of a sudden! Everyone! Let's shut this game down! Huh? No, but... Don't you get it? There's never only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence. And from there we can just create it on our own. The future that we want! What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. It wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened. This isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. 
Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. Th that goes for everyone else! Um, we just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? <clears throat> um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but... I just... I just saw it. When my body felt so heavy that I could not move, when I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice, like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. The one who shined that light, it was probably... You saw it too, right Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then, there is no way we can stop now! S seriously That's a suicidal decision! I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out, but... I... I heard her voice. In fact... I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. There's someone strong worth fighting. I'll fight. That's what it means to be confident, right? Then, I'm gonna choose this! Man, this sure is getting annoying again. But if you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now! If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what! You... you all... Why? Why? How... Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures! That's... that's impossible! That can't be hope! It's not even despair! What is this?! Hajime, everyone, thank you. I'm not the one you should be thanking. Let's get started. I didn't think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This is just the beginning, right? First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we are the ones who are going to create. This is absolute despair. How fun. <laughs> Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? <sighs> but I guess... That is 
What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess... it's just as Hajime said. At least... this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was... the ending they created. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless... There's no need for us to do anything. Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future! Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is... Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember! If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on, cause we're all friends after all. Apparently, they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Then... I guess we should get going. Hey, Makoto. Is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. So I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think... that's the case. I mean... If they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. No, the possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. 
In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. Strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair. And they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Have it grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision. This time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Uh, um, about that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. Huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. Besides the Future Foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something so horrifying. Then let's go. We must create our own futures too. And so, the ordeal has ended. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere. But it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. My future lies here. Yeah. <laughs> 